Okay, so this is take two. So it's been raining for what feels like the past month now. And that means I've spent a lot of time inside working on videos and doing schoolwork. And I've realized that I'm becoming a perfectionist. And I don't really like where this is going. I actually realized this the other day while trying to think of an idea for a blog. As the usual creative process goes, I would sit in my bed for days, trying to make sense of all the junk in my head. As it usually goes with perfectionists, what I was trying to create and write was nothing like what was in my head. So instead, I did absolutely anything to make sure I didn't do anything. He looked at me like I was stupid. I'm not stupid. I'm dedicating every day to you. So how'd you do it? How'd you graduate so fast? The dictionary defines a perfectionist as someone who aims or demands perfection. But I don't know, I kind of find that definition a bit boring. The most relatable line I've ever heard is that it's you being your own worst critic. But critic is just another name for judge. And when you become your biggest judge, you can jail yourself. Apart from that being a cool as hell metaphor, it's true. When we stare at ourselves in a mirror, we see every bump, every contortion, every single flaw that doesn't live up to what we want. And we're so harsh and that kind of sucks. Perfectionism has become this thing which is almost like a humble brag. Like, little Jimmy goes to school and tells everyone he's a perfectionist and suddenly he's the most popular guy in school. That's probably not actually how it works, but let's roll with it. Perfectionism is this thing where we feel trapped. Like, we don't have space to breathe or grow because we're so afraid to make mistakes or we have such a fear of judgement, which makes it so hard to solve because it's within us to always want to be doing better. And no matter how many times we tell ourselves to just focus on the big picture, it doesn't seem to amount to anything. Oh, okay. Um, I think I said in a recent video that I wasn't going to be the TED Talk motivational dude. <laughs> um, but I don't know, there's something so weird and so cool about it. You know, a TED talk actually sounds kind of cool. Anyways, I think what I want to do this video is put myself in some circumstances and some situations where it's going to be basically impossible to be a perfectionist. In my head, I think the dilemma is trying not to let perfectionism stop me from doing anything, but not abandoning the high standards. Um, and I'm not talking about weed. <laughs> That was so, so not funny. <laughs> All high jokes aside, I want to find a more real and tangible way, that means the same thing, to find the key to embrace being anti-perfect. However, when I began to do some research, I was faced with some, for lack of a better word, cliche advice, like make more mistakes or try a new hobby or just focus on yourself. Yay, I've never heard these ones before. But honestly, sometimes cliche advice is cliche for a reason and... I kind of wanted to give these a go anyway. I think I'm going to try drawing. Oh boy. <laughs> My addiction for the hatred of drawing began from a very young age. In preschool, we would spend every morning doing colouring in and dot to dots. And the morning is still my least favourite time of the day. Coincidence? I think not. In my mind, I hated drawing because I saw it as a time filler for the weirdos of society. The ones that found pleasure in sorting their red pastels. But really, I just sucked at it. One of the things I've always hated about drawing is the structure. The lines have to be so symmetrical. There has to be a step by step. The shade of grey matters. But today, I think I'm going to try this structure thing. Okay, so I, um, I didn't end up doing the structure thing. Aside from the drawings being, um, nah, so I actually found that pretty enjoyable. I think it actually helps because I never once thought, oh, I've got to make this drawing perfect or I've got to make this so much better. I just 
kind of <laughs> drew. I don't know if you could tell or not. Okay, so I know this may sound a bit crazy and culty, but I want to try and learn how to meditate. Apart from making you feel in touch with the world around you, running the carpet through your smooth hair and allowing yourself to be one with Brian might Johnson, be important, but it's more important really than that. feel his alluring presence weighing down in your soul. Now, apart from all that heebie-jeebie nonsense, meditation is known to focus on the present and increase self-awareness, two things that could probably help perfectionists. I feel so awkward. Oh, this better work or else I'm just gonna look like an idiot. He keeps interrupting my- Am I supposed to have my back straight? I think it was just hard to take myself seriously with the camera on. I so I actually turned it off, but it ended up being quite the experience. Okay, so I just finished that 20 minutes of meditation and that was pretty cool. After I turned the camera off, it, it felt a little bit more or less awkward, like someone wasn't watching me uh, close my eyes. But after about 10 minutes, I just felt really peaceful and calm and in the moment, not so worried on everything else going on in the world. Hey James, I was just wondering if you wanted to- Hey James, I know I've been calling you a lot, but I just wanted to know if you wanted to play tennis. Tennis is a great sport, you know, I feel like- uh, we should... About the 28 missed calls, I just wanted to know whether you want- Hey James. Oh, hey Tommy. Are you still good to play tennis this afternoon? Yeah, yeah. In the past, I've tried to get over perfectionism by changing my mindset, but I think doing things which force you to make mistakes may be a better way. Hey James! <laughs> okay, so James and I only had an hour, so we basically want to start playing straight away. Spending time doing other things, not being obsessive on one thing. Because yeah. then you want to perfect that thing that you're really obsessed with. Okay, so the rain oh dropped in me and James' conversation around like... the last game, which kind of puts a weird ending for this video, but I want to finish with a text James sent me later that night, which read something along the lines of... Perfectionism is ironic. It focuses on trying to make everything perfect, but if anything, it slows the process of getting perfection. The point is you don't have to get perfection, by actually obsessing over perfection, but instead embracing the terrible and making more of it. Now that should be a plaque in everyone's bedroom. <laughs> the anti-perfect vlog. It kind of has a nice ring to it. Don't you agree? Don't you agree? <laughs> <laughs>